Have you ever scored big at the casino in Stardew Valley and left with a ton of casino coins and then realized that you can't cash out these casino coins for real Stardew Valley money? Well then, I'm going to show you how to actually make money by gambling in Stardew Valley. Before I start, only 9% of my views are from subscribers. Please consider subscribing so you don't miss my next video. But enough of that. Let's get started with the video. The first thing you will need is the deconstructor. You can buy it from Mr. Key's Golden Walnut Room for only 20 key gems. The deconstructor is actually pretty expensive, but it's definitely worth it. You can do all kinds of magic with it. Now you have a deconstructor. Next you need to go gamble. If you haven't done the Key's Mysterious quest yet and unlocked the casino the normal way, you can use this weird glitch to get straight to the casino. Just stand as close to the exit as possible and spam your attack button with your sword out. Eventually, you'll be out of bounds and then you can enter the casino by walking into the door. It is important to note that if you enter the casino using this glitch, you can't leave without a warp totem or by waiting to pass out. I will quickly chat about how to unlock the casino the normal way. If you already know how, you can skip to this time. To start the key mysterious quest, simply place a battery pack into this fuse box in the tunnel by the bus. You can easily get a battery pack by befriending Pam and waiting for her to send you one randomly. Or you can just get a lightning rod like the rest of us. Once you have placed a battery pack in the fuse box, you will get a note containing your next task in the chain quest. Next up, you will need to find a rainbow shell on the beach during summer and place it in this little box by the train. Unfortunately, you can only get the rainbow shell during summer, so if you find one in your first summer, you should probably keep it in a chest somewhere. After placing the rainbow shell here, you will get another note. The next task is to grow and harvest 10 beets. You can only buy beets from Sandy in the Oasis store and they grow only in fall. Thankfully, you can also grow them in your greenhouse or even on your ginger island farm. Once you have harvested 10 beets, you need to place them in Mayor Lewis's fridge for the second lost note. Next up, you need a solar essence. You can get these from defeating ghosts and mummies in the mines or in the skull cavern. Then just go to the desert and place the solar essence in the mouth of the dinosaur remains. Now, you will get the last note that simply says collect your membership card in the pile of wood by the entrance of your house. Now that you have the legit means of entering the casino, we can start gambling. Make sure to come on a good luck day with a lucky ring and the best good luck food and drink that you can craft. I'm using ginger ale and a lucky lunch made using Key's special seasoning. Then start gambling. You can use the blackjack table if you want, but just sitting here and mindlessly clicking the spin button is more satisfying for me. From what I've seen, when you have all of these luck boosts, you just usually win more than you lose. I started with 1000 casino coins and I stopped at about 60,000. So this slot machine is definitely rigged in favor of the player. I wanted to continue until I got the jackpot, but patience got the better of me. What is interesting is that the time does not pause when you're using the slot machines. So you could spin forever here and just keep on spinning that wheel. But I would recommend against that. There are so many other fun things to do in Stardew Valley. Alrighty, once you are happy with how many casino coins you have, you can trade them in at this guy here. To make money, you can trade them in for farm warp totems. That's right, we are going to deconstruct farm warp totems. They cost 800 casino coins each, so not that cheap. But I never said this method was effective. Alrighty, so now just deconstruct every farm warp totem you got from the casino and you will get a honey? Hmm, honey isn't that hard to get and it doesn't sell for much. But this is basically the only way to make money by trading in your casino coins. We can still salvage this, so let's continue deconstructing all of the totems for honey I guess. Eventually, you'll have a bunch of honey, not really as much as if you were using my honey layout. But you'll have honey. Now, honey only sells for 100 gold each, so to make this just a little bit more effective, we should at least turn this into meat by placing it into some kegs. Meat sells for double that of regular honey, and if you have the patience, 
and some open casks, you can place your finished meats in some casks to further increase the value of your meat. It will take an entire 20 in-game days to fully age your meat to a medium quality and this will double the sell price of your meat. I would do this but I have star food wine in my casks and I just think that is so much more valuable. So I'll be just selling the meat as it is. Wow, 60,000 casino coins gives us a solid 30,000 gold. So let's just conclude that trying to make money using casino is uh, not worth it. Now, as an added bonus, and if you have a bunch of Omni Geodes laying around like I do, there is another fun way to use them. You can trade your Omni Geodes at the Desert Trader for Desert Warp Totems. This could save you some resources and time if you use them. But we have a bunch of deconstructors, so let's put them to use. Deconstructing Desert Totems will get you 4 Iridium or each. Now, if only there was an easier, cheaper way to get Desert Totems. I managed to get 20 Desert Totems, and after deconstructing, them all, I got a grand total of 80 iridium ore. That is not much, but it is something. So, if you have many Omni Geos and have already completed the museum, and if you are bored, you can give this a try. Why not? After testing, I noticed that it's extremely easy to accidentally destroy your deconstructors when you are placing items in them and when you are retrieving deconstructed materials. This only happened for me when I moved my deconstructors outside of my farmhouse. Maybe that is a contributing factor, but it was pretty annoying when it happened. Be careful to not accidentally destroy your deconstructors because they do cost a massive 20 key gems each. Another thing to note is when you are placing warp totems into the deconstructor, be careful. Don't get too excited and try and fill them up too fast. I accidentally used the warp totem and got teleported to the desert, which is not exactly what I was intending. And that brings us to the end of the video. I am really having tons of fun playing around with the deconstructor. And there are still quite a few other things I want to test it with. I heard you can buy fishing tackles and crab pots from Willy and deconstruct them for iron and copper bars. And apparently it works out cheaper than buying ores from Clint. But I still have to give it a try before I can confirm. Thank you so much for watching this video. Unfortunately, trying to make money by gambling is just not effective in Stardew Valley. But it was fun to try it anyway. But actually, there are so many things to do in Stardew Valley. And I think the developers wanted to add the casino while making sure that it won't be exploited for gold and take attention away from the rest of the game. Stardew is a relaxing, atmospheric game after all. If you like this video, consider hitting that subscribe button. And as always, I'll We'll see you in the next video.